Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Maggie and I picked up the new Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Tint. I got it in the shade T12 and I also picked up two of the new lip pencils that she released. So I picked up the shades 1N and 3C. So 1 N is for neutral and C is for cool. So I got one of the light shades in the neutral brown and I got, I believe this is the deepest shade in the cool, which is like a pinky, pinky color. I've been using the skin tint for a few days now and I've fallen in love with it. It is one of the most natural looking skin tints that I've ever used. It feels like a tinted moisturizer but it's one of the most natural skin tints I've ever used and it still has coverage. I didn't think it would have as much coverage as it does because it's quite a liquidy formula but once I put it on it gave me more coverage than I expected it to have and it evened out my face but it also it left my skin feeling like it normally is. I also felt like I didn't need to put on my neck area just because it's so close to my skin. It, it looks like my skin that you can't tell the difference. And so the ever since I've been using it, I put it only once on my neck, but I don't need to. So I stopped doing that. I um. I just put it on my face now and it looks exactly like my normal skin would be but it evens out my skin tone and it's beautiful. The packaging for the skin tint is very much in line with Lisa's packaging for the foundation, Lisa Eldridge foundation and it also both of them have these these little flat ends where they where they stand up. So yeah when i've used it i've just placed it on the desk with this if i'm if i drop this now huh i put it on the desk and it doesn't spill so i like that i also prefer to use this dropper bottle directly on my face so i put a few uh, like drops everywhere on my face and then i go in with a brush one with a brush i feel for me gives me a better finish and putting it directly on my face so I don't have to worry about messing or wasting and it keeps this clean as well. Lisa did say that you should shake this before use because she does have skincare ingredients in this formula and there's also a little shake um, image on the back where the shade number is so if you forget to shake Hopefully you look at this and then you, and then you just shake it up. I'm wearing the skin tint at the moment. I've had it on for the whole day. So this is, this is my full day wear test. And it looks quite, this pretty much the same as it did this morning. Um, I had a full day of work. I tend to touch my face. You know, I tend to put my hands on my face while I work and everything. Um, and I didn't have any transfer of this product. It's not like a foundation. Um, it, it does remind me a little bit of Lisa's foundation in the sense that it, once it sets, it doesn't transfer and it's similar to this as well. And it looks the same like it did this morning. I'll come in a little bit closer and then you can see what it looks like. I put on a very thin layer this morning so I didn't go over and pinpoint conceal with this um, on sort of these blemishes because I just wanted a thin layer um, for work today but even though I have a thin layer on I feel like it it blurred my skin this is a very easy formula to use and it is a skin tint so it should be easy it doesn't crease under my eyes. This is after a full day of wearing this. And it looks natural. If if I didn't tell you I was ma wearing makeup, um, you wouldn't know it. And if I compare it to my neck, it looks the same. 
So yeah, Lisa has done it again. <laughs> I don't know how she keeps doing this. She's got like a magic lab. She's got a magic lab and she keeps doing it, but I love it because it's beautiful. This is just a beautiful skin tint. I don't have any complaints about it so far. At first I was worried about the packaging because it's such a runny formula, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to spill this everywhere. And I was hoping that she provided a little um, stand like she did with the foundation. But this works fine. I put this on the desk like this and it stands upward. So if I have it flat like this, it does stand upward. I haven't had any issues with it spilling over. So I was worried about that as well, but Lisa thought about it. She put the flat edge and we don't have any issues with that. I've even used this to add more coverage under my eye area. So I just took a little bit on my finger. I can even show you now. I, I literally just touch it on and then I just pinpoint cover up where I where I need to. So I'm putting this on um, after, you know, a full day. It's actually a good way to see how it builds up if you want to do a touch up um, later on in the day. So it did add some coverage. Um, it's a skin tone, so it's not going to fully cover this, but it did add coverage. And I know that it looks a little bit yellow to begin with, but once it sets, it looks like my skin. So I'm going to try my best to keep my head in this position and wait for it to set. And then I'll come in even closer and you can see what it looks like. I think it's pretty much set. And do you see what I mean? It looks like my skin. It looks like I didn't even put anything on there. But it did cover up, you know. This is going to be probably my favorite skin tint this year. Last year it was the Danessa Myricks one. And I do like the Danessa Myricks one because it has more coverage than this one. But this one looks like I didn't put any makeup on whatsoever. It looks like my skin. Okay, I'm going to do a quick swatch of the skin tint with the foundation so I have the skin tint in the shade T12 so I'm just gonna take a little bit this is the skin tint in shade T12 and I'm just gonna work it in at the top I'm the shade 24 in the Lisa Eldridge foundation. I put a bit too much on my skin, um, but let me blend it out on the top here. So the foundation shade for me is um, a little bit on the, you know, terracotta red side, but I like it because it's easier to cover my dark spots or my dark areas, especially under the eyes. It's good for color correcting. Um, and let me just blend this out on this side. If I blend the foundation out, it's quite similar to my skin tone. It has a little bit of warmth to it, but the skin tint is, it looks a little bit yellow at first, but once it dries down, it is an exact match for my skin. So there is a slight difference between the two, but on application, they work, they both work quite well for my skin. And on the Lisa Eldridge website, she has a nice table to help you find your skin tint shade if you know what your foundation shade is. So that's extremely helpful. That's exactly how I bought the shade T12. I looked at the table and it said use T12 and I bought it and it's perfect. Then I picked up two of the Sculpt and Shade eyeliners. So these are the sort of nude eyeliners that she came out with and they look 
amazing i actually think i'm going to pick up another a deeper shade in the um, neutral series but at the moment i have one n and three c and i will swatch them for you this is the shade one n the first one I have, I just used one swipe and then the second one I built it up with a few swipes and it gets nice and deep and it's a lovely shade. It's, it's perfect for my natural lip color. If I want a very natural nude color, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll put the picture here somewhere of what it looks like when I'm wearing it on its own. So this is 3C and the first one here is with one swipe and then I built it up with a few swipes. This is a beautiful natural cool pink lip for me especially. I think 3C works really nice. It has a nice sort of shadowy look on my lips. I had a meeting and I wanted to look a little bit more refreshed so I popped on a little bit of Velvet Bloom as a lip stain um, just before my meeting. So at the moment on my lips is Skeleton shade in 3C with Velvet Bloom as a lip stain But I will put a picture up here to show you what 3C looks like on its own on my lips It's a beautiful nude color. I do really like these pencils. They also come with a sharpener It is a cosmetic sharpener. So it has the proper shape that you want when you um, sharpen your um, makeup pencils and it has a little Lisa Eldridge logo it is the cuter sharpener I have two and each one of these pencils came with a sharpener so I have two of these cuties I'm pretty much wearing just Lisa Eldridge today except for my eyes I have Violette FR um, you paint in to do I'll leave all the details of all the makeup products that are on my face if you are interested to know what I'm wearing. I'm super excited to keep using these products. I think this is going to be the perfect product to wear at the beach. So I'm really looking forward to warm weather. And you can see I'm already thinking about the beach because, yeah, winter is just not leaving. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on these products. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you would like more beauty content from me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Hello. Is it alive? No. Okay. Why don't you say something? Should I introduce myself? You just say whatever you want. Well, I am Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies. Yes. And I'll tell you about that um, twelve ninety nine soap no, this that's is not, a rip off. This is not the soap video. That has to go. That has to well, go on a different video. No, I'll call you. I'll call you. I, I have a lot to say about a twelve ninety nine soap that functions the same as every other soap. Okay, that this is not the video though. Okay. Okay.